For exercise number 10, we want to find all angles that are coterminal with 20 degrees. So let's draw out our picture here, what we've got going on. Okay, so here's our here's our unit circle, or any circle I guess for that matter. Here's our angle. And this guy's 20 degrees. So I want all the angles that are going to be coterminal with that angle. So what we can do is we can start adding revolutions to it. So remember that if I add 360, I get a coterminal angle. So one way I can do is 20 degrees plus 360 degrees. That gives me one of the angles. Okay. If we add another revolution, we get 20 degrees plus... 360 plus another 360. That essentially is 20 degrees plus 720 degrees. We can do it again. Okay. In fact, we can just keep on doing this. So the way that we write this thing, since it is kind of a an ugly, an ugly mess. So we just say, okay, look, it's 20 degrees plus a bunch of 360s. So we say 360 times k, where k is just, think about it as a number without a decimal. Okay, it's just an integer. So k is an integer. That's it. So if we take k, and we plugged in like 6, we'd have 360 times 6, or 6 revolutions, plus 20. So basically we go 20, and we go around 6 times until we ended up back there, and that would be an angle that's coterminal. This also includes, since k is an integer, it includes the negative values as well. For example, if k is negative 2, then we're subtracting 2 revolutions. If k is 5, or negative 5, then we're subtracting 5 revolutions, so on and so forth. So that's how you figure it out with degrees. Now, the next one, we'll do an example with radians.